Flying Soldiers, this is Epic Gen playing a game called What If. This is a phone game I found. And what you do is they give you a scenario that the first thing they say, what if, blah, 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 that's supposed to be a good thing. And then they give you another thing that happens when you pick that thing, which says, but, da, 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 da. And if you pick the, uh, if you pick yes, then the, both of the things will happen. If you pick no, then I guess nothing happens. So my first question is, what if you got to pick any one person to be your best friend, but you must have sex with each other once and only once? And only once. That makes it very, very awkward because you have sex once and then never again. Well, okay, here's my thought. I think what you could do is be friends your entire life and then like, or, like, until you decide not to be friends or whatever. Then have sex, like, right at the end. So that it's not awkward the entire friendship. So I'm going to say yes. I don't know who I would pick to be my best friend. But, uh, maybe I'll just keep this as a reserve. 50-50 <laughs> on that one. Holy crap. What if you received a magical window wiper? That's spelled weird. That could make anything invisible. But you had, I guess, to use it on all your shoes and socks. Yes. I, I don't care if my shoes and socks are invisible, because then my, my feet would be invisible. That'd look pretty weird. But I'd get to make whatever else I wanted invisible, too. That's definitely yes. Why are people saying no? Ah! What if you found out when you will die, but you die instantly if you tell someone? I don't really want to know when I will die, so just for that reason, I'm going to say no. Otherwise, it's not that bad of a situation. What if your friends could answer these awesome questions too? Blah, 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 blah. No thanks, man. I don't want to recommend this. What if you will be the next president and will be paid $200,000 per month? By the way, they don't get paid that much. But you must represent the party you would certainly not want to vote for. Hmm... I don't really... I kind of vote in the middle. Some, like, it depends on the person... Like, I don't completely, I'm not on either side, I, I don't, it doesn't matter, uh, I don't really care, I don't want to be president, that's, that's too much responsibility. What if you could go down into split without problem? Oh, I used to be able to do a full split, but once a year you get kicked in the, cr the crutch, um... Hmm, no, because I think I don't, I don't want to be kicked, but I used, I could probably do the split thing by myself. I don't need this game to let me do it. What if you triple, I love the spelling of all of this, your salary, and by the way, that's sarcasm, but you shorten your length by half. Length? Like you get shorter? Or you, a lot of them were about, were about lifespan um if it's height then I would do it it'd be really short if it's uh, I'll just say no because I think it's about health, uh, your lifespan but I don't know what if you had a tree that grew money as leaves but when you took money from it 50 50 other trees or 50,000 other trees die? I think it's 50,000. No, I'm not going to kill trees to get money. <clears throat> not a loser. What if you could look like whoever you wanted, but you never got to wear underwear again? No thanks, I would prefer to wear underwear. It's easy peasy. Just unsanitary not to do it. What if you get to know when and how you die, but you can't affect it? I don't want to know when I die. Stop. What if you could be just as long as you want to be? Oh, this literally means like tall. But your partner will also be 50, always be 50 centimeters shorter than you. 50 centimeters. How much is, I don't care how tall I am anyway. Uh, what if you get $500 each day, but every year you will be one centimeter shorter? Yes, definitely yes. I don't know how, when I would get to 
it would take way too long for me to shrink to nothing. What if you got to design your partner's looks and personality, but your partner gets gets to decide you exactly how he slash she wanted? Um, it's cool in theory. So just just based off theory, I'll say yes. But realistically, this is really um, this is kind of like that movie. I think it was a Disney movie where they they built a boyfriend. I think it's literally like how to build the better boyfriend or something. I don't know. But it's like that. And um, I'm pretty sure it would end poorly, but I'm going to say yes anyway. Um, what if your fridge was always full of good food, but you must go to church every Sunday morning? Uh, is it full for free or do I have to pay for all this food? Because I can manage that. Um, and I don't mind going to church I guess so sure also am I cooking the food or is it already cooked for me just wanted to know what if you were lucky and happy every day <laughs> that's not at all true but you turned it into an animal of your choice again hell yeah if you're lucky and happy and you're an animal like I could be the luckiest freaking turtle ever dude sign me up for that lucky and happy turtle okay what if you could become the next king slash queen of Sweden, but you had to marry a person of royal blood. No thanks, I don't want to marry some random... There's probably not that many people with royal blood, I don't know. What if you got any clothes from any store for free, but you can never wear matching shoes or socks? Ooh. Okay, I'm okay with not wearing matching socks, but matching shoes. That's a different story. So, maybe I would just never wear shoes. Do boots count as shoes? Because I could just wear boots all the time. I'm going to say no because I, I can't deal with the shoe thing. I, I, I want my work around, but I don't think it's going to work. <coughs> this one's funny. What if you can be in a movie, but it was a porno? Nope. No, thank you. I'm good. Don't want that. Nope. What if you got to travel 500 years into the future for a day, then back again, but your right hand became a foot? I don't want to go 500 years into the future. I've seen Back to the Future. Time travel is a dangerous thing. So, And also, I really don't want my right hand to be a foot, so definitely not. You couldn't even lure me into that at all. What if your biggest fear disappeared? But you had to give it to your closest friend. What is my biggest fear? Who's my closest friend? What? Um. I guess I'll say yes because I don't know. None of my fears are that bad. What if you could see a year into the future. But you forget two of your earliest years of your life each year. What does that mean? I don't know what that means but I don't. No, I don't think that's a good trade-off. What if you could change gender whenever you wanted, but you come slightly out of clear every time you did? Hmm. Do I want to be... Hmm. This one's weird because of that gender argument and blah blah blah, but I know what they're getting at. And I'm just going to say no because I don't really care. I'm good and and I can't afford to get uglier. So, yeah. What if you could be any animal but never be human again? Again, I'm pretty sure this, this lucky happy turtle thing was a good option. I'm going to go with yes. Turtles are the shit. And, I mean, easy life. What if you got a luxury villa just by the beach? It's villa, right? Not via like Spanish would make it be. But all sand you walk on is quicksand. <laughs> okay, here's what you do. You get this villa by the beach. And then you make a stone path. Actually, does stone count? Stone doesn't usually count as sand if it's big. So I'm going to go with either a stone path or make it out of wood or something. And then you just never step on the sand. 
And I'm okay with that. So I'm going to say yes. Ooh, only 18% said yes. What if you got to hang with any celebrity for a whole week, but paparazzi followed you around all week? Well, that's what would happen if you hung out with a celebrity, isn't it? Uh, I would definitely say yes, because, uh, okay, so who would I hang out with? Probably Chris Pratt or, um, I mean, he's pretty cool. I don't have, like, a huge crush on him, but he's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of people. I will say yes. I don't know who I'd pick, but maybe Chris Pratt. What if you could go 50 years back in time, but you can never talk to someone you know today ever again? <gasps> 50, again, why with the time travel? 50 years back in time. The 60s? I'm going to say no, and also I don't want to never be able to talk to some, some people that I know now. What if all people were black, but you were white? Ooh. <clears throat> if all people were black, then... I was white would they kill me because they might think like they might have never seen a white person if everybody was black and so okay I would either be like they would either think I was really cool because it would be so special to be white or they would try to kill me because they would be afraid of me or I, I don't know there's probably a lot of scenarios that would happen um, oh man, if all people were black, but I was white, uh, I'm going to say no, because it could, it could be a bad situation. It could be really good. They could end up like worshiping me, but I'm going to say no. Uh, what if a restaurant opened in your honor where you chose the menu and always got free food? But you may nev never eat at another restaurant. I chose the menu and always got free food. I will say yes. Because I get to, uh, they can serve whatever I want. And I get free food. What if all people were white, but you were black? Same thing. I'm going to go with no. It sounds like danger. I don't know. I don't think it would be a racism thing at that point because you wouldn't be a race. You would just be like one singular, like strange, um, anomaly. Like, I don't know. What if you became best friends with Bill Gates, but he gets jealous if you hang out with other people too long? <laughs> that's, n oh my God, that scenario would never happen. Um, Bill Gates, I don't know how cool you are. It seems not bad because you can still hang out with other people, just not too long. I want to know how long too long is. Uh, sorry, Bill Gates. I'm going to have to go with no because I don't know you. <laughs> You're rich, but <clears throat> what if in a contest, the odds are 1 in 24 that you win. I'm guessing that's $10 million. Some people put periods instead of commas in other countries and stuff. But it's the Hunger Games. Um, I, I had to, my alarm clock went off, so I'm probably going to cut some more there. Uh, 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 1 in 24 that you win 10 million, but it's the Hunger Games. I, could I, I'm probably not good enough to kill everybody, so we'll just go with that. What if your children were guaranteed to be successful, but... You had to have exactly three kids and name them. Oh my god. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, regardless of their gender. Ah, oh, they're guaranteed to be successful. I like how... Never mind. No. Because I don't want to name them that. Uh, da, 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 no, thank you. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. What if you die 15 years earlier, but you are always in ideal physical shape 15 years earlier? I don't know when I'm going to die, so that sounds like a bad idea. I can just try to be most of the time in good physical shape. What if you could play the accordion, but you have to brag about it every day? 
here's, I'm going to say yes, because of what I would do is I would brag to like an aunt. I'd be like, hey, aunt, I can play the accordion and you can't. <laughs> and that's, that's how I would do that. It's pretty easy. And I guess it would be nice to be able to play the accordion anyway. What if you became twice as popular, but you lose half of your teeth? Dude, I'm already missing like four or more teeth. And with less teeth, I would become twice as popular? This is a joke. I will say no. I don't want to lose more teeth. I can't afford it. What if any part, any body parts of your choosing get twice as big, but two body parts of your choosing get twice as small? What could I even use this for? I guess my butt. Because I got a flat butt, right? Some people say no, but some people say yes. My friend once told me my ass was flatter than the state of New Hampshire. And then I said, New Hampshire has mountains. <laughs> um... <coughs> And then he's like, oh, your ass is flatter than that wall. Which was better, but I mean, took him a while. Um, two body parts of my choosing get twice as small. What do I have that's too big? It doesn't say how many I have to make get twice as big. And I'm assuming for everyone, it's other things get twice as small. I would say... I have nothing to make twice as small because that would just look crazy. So I'm going to say no. What if you are sick half as often, but when you are, you're two times as sick? Again, no. Two times as sick would be really horrible for the times that I am sick. I'll, uh, I'll make this the last one for now. We're like at the halfway after we do this. What if... You could read twice as fast, but you had to talk twice as fast. I'm going to have to go with no because I don't think people will understand me if I talk twice as fast. And this is an example of how fast I talk sometimes. And no, oh, geez, imagine if you sped this up. Actually, YouTube lets you do that. So go ahead and try to speed this up and see what happens and see if you would understand me. I'm just, bam. Woo. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, and this this is like a game. So I'll put the, the thing in the thing. I'll put the link in the description. I have there's other categories that I'll go to later, which I unlocked. I unlocked Pokemon. There's also Halloween, sex, funny, challenging, outrageous, hot, drink, drinking dares, and fresh. So I and also different colors you can unlock. Cause right now it's on orange, and that's bleh. Maybe I'll watch a crap ton of ads or something and get some more of these unlocked and stuff. Anyway, apparently this. Yep. Yeah, we're halfway through level, I think I'm on level four. I did some of this before I did this video. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again soon.